I give the call to the member for Adelaide. Thank you, uh, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister for, fi for Financial Services. Australians lost $3 billion to scams in 2022. What is the Albanese Labor government doing to end a decade of neglect and fight back against scammers to protect Australians from the threats of scams? Yeah. Call to the Assistant Treasurer and the Minister for Financial Services. Now, thanks, Speaker, and I thank the member for Adelaide uh, for the question, and I thank him for organising a tremendous Order. community forum in his electorate uh, on Friday last week. We had uh, lots of people there sharing their stories and very keen to know what the government was doing to help them in the battle against scammers. And indeed, over the last few weeks, we've held a number of town hall meetings around the country in the electorates of Tangy, in Swan, in Hasluck, in Macquarie, in Boothby, in Isaacs, in Morton and in Dunkley. And, Speaker, at each of these forums, People have been Order. saying the same story. They were being bombarded by emails, by SMSs. They're having their money stolen or threatened to be stolen by criminal gangs who are preying on them and their innocence, and it's impacting their ability to engage in online commerce. They're feeling that they want the government Order. to do something about it, and they know, they know that, the, that the problem has got worse and worse and worse. And the simple fact of the matter is that the previous government on this issue was indolent, completely indolent. They left Australian households on their own to fight the scammers. Well, there's been a new government and a new change and a Order. fresh approach, and we are on the side of consumers. Yeah. And we're going to fight back. We're going to fight back against the scammers. We've esta we're establishing a national anti-scam centre, a world first as a result of the announcement made in the budget Last week, over $56 million, it'll have three functions. Firstly, real-time reporting and sharing of information. So if anywhere in the country a scam is reported, it's shared with the people who need to act fast to pull up the barriers, put the red flags in to stop the scammers going to work. We're also going to put in place new fusion cells, which are action Remember swads get, which are going after the scammers who are preying on Australians. Something the previous mob could have done, Order. but didn't. Order. They could have done, but they Order. didn't. Mr Speaker, they're Order. making the a lot of noise. They award. should be as angry as they are about the billions of dollars that ripped out of Australians' bank accounts and flooded overseas on their watch. If only they were as angry about that as they are angry as they are today. This initiative will work hand in hand with the work that my colleague the Minister for Communications is doing to put in place new registers for SMSs Order. to ensure that those SMS messages are being filtered and blocked at source. It works hand in hand with the work that the Minister for Cyber Security is doing to ensure that we are uplifting our capacity as well. We'll be putting in place new industry codes to ensure that we set out the responsibilities of the private sector and the rights of indig individual citizens. Australians won't be left alone Order. under this government, unlike the, the previous one.